Thursday, Thursday, Thursday in the afternoon. Thursday, I don't care about you. Well, come again next Thursday afternoon. Thursday, Thursday doesn't even start. Thursday, Thursday night, Thursday. Thursday's just not far to go. Thursday, watch the walls instead. We can make plans for Thursday night. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. The dinosaurs are back this weekend, and industry experts think Jurassic World will make at least $125 million in North America alone. And the question that has remained unanswered since the first movie stomped into our lives in 1993 is, how much would a theme park of this nature cost in the real world? Well, according to the movie site Fandango, apparently they do this sort of thing, a recreation of the Jurassic World theme park would boast a price tag of $23 billion and would require $11 billion annually to maintain. It's Katniss versus the Capitol. The first official trailer for The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 was released Tuesday and it looks like the final installment of the films based on Suzanne Collins' best-selling novels is going to be a wild ride. It's going to be a long summer for fans, however, who will have to wait until November 20th to see Part 2 in theaters. Ready to ride a roller coaster this summer? A couple of dozen new roller coasters are open in the United States this year, but China's gone roller coaster crazy, with 50 new ones opening over the last 12 months. 173 new roller coasters went up around the world in 2014. That's the most of any year on record. Still with theme parks, an Arizona theme park is devoted to the Flintstones, and it's called Bedrock City. It's on the market now for $2 million. The new owner will have to make a few upgrades. For example, the park has an old monorail that's operated by your feet. Kim Kardashian rented out the Staples Center for $139,000 for one night so Kanye West could play basketball there with his friends on his birthday. It was either that or donate that money to the needy. Ha! The male Prime Minister of India is in a public relations nightmare after he complimented the female Prime Minister of Bangladesh for standing up against terrorism, quote, despite being a woman, unquote. She then kicked him right in his embassies. Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, and their six children flew coach on Air France. That's what happens when the kids ask, what's the worst conditions you've ever experienced, Mom? New Hampshire's highest court has ruled that it's legal for a group of do-gooders named Robin Hooders to thwart the city by voluntarily putting coins in parking meters so people won't be ticketed. The court says that the group is protected by a constitutional amendment. However, the court did question whether the green tights were necessary. Soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo is now dating an Italian model. Well, nice to hear you found some companionship there, Fabio. When astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti returns Thursday, she will have set the record for the longest stay in space by a female. Unless you count Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman. A Washington Post poll finds that the 2016 presidential candidates aren't as well-liked as Darth Vader. Well, he was a very sharp dresser who made great speeches. Jerry Seinfeld says political correctness is killing comedy. Not as much as Entourage the movie did over the weekend, but it's up there. A movie about the history of FIFA bombed at the box office over the weekend. The movie was so bad that FIFA couldn't even bribe people to see it. A Georgia mother was arrested for locking her teenage son out of the house when he missed curfew. In her defense, teenagers are really annoying. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out The Being Frank Show, starring Frank D'Angelo. Live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, right here on NSS.